go to Michigan and the fellow, is it Aj or is it AJ? I can't tell. Yeah, this is AJ. Uh, AJ, is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How may I help you, AJ? Uh, see, I'm in a situation uh, where my, my wife is in limerence for the last three months uh, with a co-worker. And uh, she's vilified me. Uh, she, she doesn't you never tell me typical symptoms of uh, the limerence thing. And uh, she, she's, she, but again, she thinks that I don't know that she's in an affair. So, uh, so I've, I've been like working with Jared and uh, we've been uh, working on this. Should I confront, not confront? But again, as Jared also mentioned, the decision is still mine. Like I know what, what I should be doing. So, so I'm not sure. I was thinking that I'll talk to her about the workshop and let her discover it there rather than talking about or confronting her beforehand. Uh, is that a good strategy? Well, if she would, if she would, if he would agree to the come to the workshop, then it's not a good strategy. For example, if you say, "Look, I know we're having marriage problems. Would you come to the workshop with me?" If she says yes, then I certainly wouldn't do any confrontation before the workshop, because once people agree to come to the workshop, we we will actually send you a video, and that video would be here are the things not to do, and here are the things to do between now and the time of the workshop, so you don't mess things up, if you will, so you don't upset the apple cart. And so if, if she's willing to come to the workshop, then if it were I, I would not confront her beforehand. Now, if she's not willing to come to the workshop, when you confront her, uh, how do you know she's having an affair? How did you find that out? Uh, uh, I, I saw her email, like she left the email. I saw the email and uh, I, 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 I I, I saw her talking once uh, she was in her room. She didn't realize that I was in the other room and she was talking to him. So I got to know and it's a coworker because she was talking to him and saying his name. So, and, and she's been like kind of an alien person in the house, a, a girl who was an amazing person to live with, suddenly has become rude, mean, yeah. uh, and paying attention to the child. Uh, it's just that guy is important, nothing else. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I mean, it's been like hell to live with the situation where I know what's going on and I still have to act as if I don't know anything uh, about that. But then, uh, Joe, I want to mention that uh, uh, she told me that I, because she went to a counselor without meeting me, and I've seen your video uh, on that, without meeting me, her uh, counselor ever told her that, yeah, your husband is a narcissist, he's, he's emotionally abused you and all that. And I was like, that's strange. And, uh, and I asked her, like, she... She told me that my counselor told me that you're a narcissist. You emotionally abused me, verbally abused me. And I said that she didn't even meet me. How can she say that I'm a narcissist? And secondly, she told me, she has told me so many times, you're a great father, an amazing family guy. You respect your parents and everything. And I said that then it's a narcissist, only narcissist for one person, like just two. And so, she was like, I don't So may I ask you a question now? You, you said she's vilifying you. You say she's doing some other things like that. So what makes you think that she's telling you the truth about what the counselor has said? Uh, I, I, I think like, I, I believe what she told me definitely was something else. That, because I know her for the last 18 years. I've been married for 10. Uh, I, I, I know her, so I, I know for sure that she was, she was telling me, most likely it was true that her uh, counselor said that. And she went for that counseling session for four weeks and then left that also. I don't know what the reason was. She hasn't been back to that counseling session as well. And she told me counseling, she, she took that counseling only for the reason that she wanted to sort things in her head, not for the marriage purpose, but to move ahead on in her life, to get her self-esteem back and all those things. Yeah. Well, if indeed, if indeed the counselor actually said those things, then the counselor is an idiot. Okay. Now, uh, let me back up for the sakes of uh, legal statements here. I don't know the counselor, and therefore I'm basing this totally on what I'm hearing here. <laughs> I, c I can't speak to the counselor because I don't know who he or she is. Uh, but I'm saying that any counselor that would diagnose somebody as being a narcissist without having met them is either poorly trained or totally arrogant or something because that just isn't right. Even frontline doctors aren't supposed to diagnose people as being narcissists because it's so easy to misdiagnose those kinds of things. And a very, very small percentage of the American population is actually, actually a true narcissist. So indeed, if she did say that, or she or he, whatever the counselor was, if indeed the counselor said that, then the counselor is totally wrong. Now, 
you said this has been going on for about three months. Do you think she might be willing yes. to come to the workshop with you? you think that's a possibility? Yeah, till the time I don't disclose that I know of the affair, I know the moment I talk about it, she's going to be, no, I'm not going anywhere now. Uh, but uh, if I tell her that, hey, we need to co-parent, we have to have a healthy relationship between us, and right now you're like, you, you, I know you hate me, and again, I respect your feelings, I'm not going to tell you what you should feel, mm-hmm. but for the sake of our time, we need to we need to build a relationship where we can trust each other. We can we can work with each other. But this the educational workshop again. It's mm-hmm. not something that they are telling you to do. Yeah. Well, so then, we'll then it kind of works out like this, my friend. When you look at two different options, you've got an option to do this or an option to do that. Then you look at what you think the potential outcomes would be from each option. What you just told me was, I think that if I confront her, she's going to say no. That said, I'm not going. Well, if you think that's how she's going to respond, then I would suggest you not do that option. If, on the other hand, you think she actually will come to the workshop with you, where you can then have professionals deal with this who are pro-marriage and certainly not going to make diagnoses that, that are ridiculous, then if you have that possibility, then that's what I would recommend. Now, it's always your choice. You have to decide what to do. I cannot tell you. But I would, if you think confrontation is going to be that she just walls up, then I don't see the value in what you gain from the confrontation, do you? Absolutely, uh, 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 Dr. Joe, I agree with you. that and That's what my personal feeling is. The moment I tell her that, you know, uh, about the affair and all, she's going to be very, very defensive, and she'll say, now the, everything is open. I now don't want to do anything. I just want to be with him. That's how it is. And I really don't want that situation to happen where I, I lose right. the chance for her to the workshop. Well, so, I hope that... Another thing, Dr. Joe, I... Unfortunately, I'm running out of time here and have a whole lot of callers left. My friend, I truly hope that you can get her to the workshop if you possibly can. Now, you've had one other question. You have to make it really fast, okay? Yeah. Uh, so she had some childhood, childhood issues with her mother, and her mother is coming to stay with us for, us for some time uh, to, to make our marriage work. But she is very furious about that also. But she doesn't know her mother is coming. How do I deal with that situation now? Because her mother is going to be staying with us for coming uh, two, three, four, five weeks. I think maybe more than that. So the and, mother's and coming, she, but your not... wife doesn't know she's coming? Is that what you just said? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, because her mother was planning to come in March. But she told them, don't come. I don't want to do anything right now. Please don't disturb me and all those things. And they got worried. But if it, if it were I, I, if it were I, my friend, I'd make sure that she knew that her mom was coming well before her mother got there, because it would seem to me that if if I didn't want my mother there and you knew she was coming and you didn't tell me she was coming, then I would feel ambushed when mother showed up. So again, it's always your decision. You do what you think's best for you. But if you if you okay. think she's going to react negatively to mama coming, I strongly recommend that you tell her beforehand so that she doesn't feel like she's ambushed. That's my suggestion. Now, again, always you do what you think is right, okay? Okay, okay, Dr. Joe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.